Hey folks, Engineer 775. It's been a while since I talked to you about solar generators. That's what's in front of you here. I'm going to give you a tour of it and show you what it can do. It's pretty impressive. It's been a while since I've done one because there's just so many. There's 50 or 60 of them out on the market and a lot of them don't really have the specs that I was looking for. But this one does. I found out about it from a guy over at Minuteman Prep on YouTube. So check his channel out. And I'm going to go through and show you, we've got all sorts of gizmos hooked up to it to kind of show you its capability. Again, it's a solar generator and I want to use it instead of a Honda generator. I've been taking a Honda generator with me everywhere I go on jobs and I want to do everything electric. So there's two lithium ion batteries with this and this is going to become my new job site generator, I hope. So let me tell you about it. Okay, on, let me just show you the front panel of this Titan. It has several different uh, features on it. There's a ton of stuff. There's a lot of 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter type connections on it. Everything's fuse protected. You got 620 volt outlets and you even have a 30 uh, amp full power outlet if you needed to run an RV or anything else that needed a full power. Um, it's a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter and the cool thing these I don't know if you can see the latches on the side here for stacking batteries we have two lithium batteries they're two kilowatts each so that's quite a bit of power and the reason that they're latched is because when you add it all up it's quite heavy to carry it around you can carry it around with a handle but it is recommended that you at least drop one of those batteries and then you can carry it or you can drop both kind of interesting how they connect together with the Anderson um, connectors that's how they stack and then each battery has a carrying handle on it as well but when it's set up it's pretty impressive we're actually um, charging it on solar and uh, I'll show you that we have a couple panels hooked up by 600 watts so it's actually charging on solar so what are we doing here we're charging batteries this is important for us on the job that we keep our tools going so we can use it for charging batteries I'm actually topping off one of the Trojans been sitting in my shop too long, so just topping that baby off using a traditional charger. I've got a skill saw. We'll start these things up in a bit. Quite pretty good surge, about 36, 37 amps on that. Not a problem whatsoever. LED light, box fan, everything plugged in. So if I do this, it's going to be kind of loud, but I'm going to start up this skill saw. And when I do, you'll see the amperage go up. I know, always loud, got to do it. So that actually pulled close to 50 amps, had no problem starting it, has serious surge capabilities from what we can tell so far. So um, loving it. The other thing you can do, and I don't have power out in my shop yet, so I'm using this instead, but I, there is a 24 volt charger that comes with it, and that plugs into the panel on the side. So if you want to keep it the battery full on shore power you can you can keep it maintained by plugging it in here so you can charge it off a car you can add expand and put extra batteries on it you can uh, charge it with the AC charger you can get two AC chargers and do that and then you have solar and the solar you know it tells you 35 to 145 amps you can put a lot of solar on this um, and I don't remember the exact amount on there I'd have to double check on that but just make sure your series parallel combinations are correct when you do it. We just put 600 watts on to charge it up. Let me show you that. So we just have two panels out here, two 310 watt modules using it, charging the generator while we're using it. So we're going to go ahead and start up a table saw with it and uh, cut some wood. So Abraham's got the saw set up and some wood. Let's see what this does to it. I'm going to show you the screen. Let her rip. Cut some wood. Nice. Nice little rip. How did the saw work? The saw sounded good. Not a problem with that. So we were up to 60 amps at 29, 28 volts, so we're pulling 
you know, about 1,700, I guess, watts coming out. But it is a 3,000 watt continuous. It'll surge to 6,000. So it didn't have any problems starting that motor on that table saw. So I know a lot of people are just using cordless tools today. So I wanted you to see that even with the old school corded saws, which are probably the things that pull the most amps when we're working, uh, had no problem. So you can load this baby up. So I don't have an RV to hook it up to right now. But so far so good. And we're going to do a little bit more testing and get back with you. Okay, we're having fun now. We have loaded up this Titan with all sorts of loads and tasks. And we're charging batteries for tools, batteries for storage, lights, fans, more lights. Charging this Trojan L16. Also charging this uh, electric bike, Rad, Rad Runner. And we're also charging the golf cart. So this is just batteries, charging batteries. So this is where we want to be. And the only power that we really have is solar. And you can put 2,000 watts of solar on the Titan from Point Zero Energy. So we've got 630 watts on it now which is nothing so there's a couple of Anderson connectors here that are adapted to MC4 solar connectors and we can take another uh, string in there so a lot of capability so super quiet obviously the only thing that's making any noise is this fan so that's the other beauty of having a solar generator is absolute silence so it's charging our fun toys and our transportation you know we use this stuff this isn't just transportation it's uh these are workhorses i was wondering if the fan was ever going to come on so it's got a cooling fan because we've been working it we've been cutting wood running our corded tools these chargers pull a lot of amps so we've been pulling up to 50 amps pulling 30 amps out of it now it's charging the bike the e-bike and uh topping off our batteries so about to switch over to the small battery there so I don't know if I've answered any or all of your questions but uh, we're using some DC here and uh, video just came up my, my phone said it's about to die so I'm gonna be charging that here shortly off of the USB port so tell me what you think this thing's awesome there are links in the description of where to find these so a lot of options a lot of storage so we're still we're still at 97 percent and we've been uh, really loading it up so so far so good let me know what you think of that all right this is engineer 775 signing out <laughs>